Hey everybody, welcome back to Tech Odyssey. So today I'm here with a review of another Kerf wood case, and this time it's for the Samsung Galaxy S10. I just reviewed one the other day for the 10 Plus. That one I had in cherry wood, this one I had in walnut, and I kept the original packaging intact. So you can see what it comes like in the box, and it's really nice. It has the Kerf logo branded on there, and you can actually smell it. It smells like a burnt, a burnt wood smell. It's pretty cool. So all you have to do, Let's just take this apart. It's kind of ingenious. It's really neat. So you got the cardboard. It boxes it in. You got the burlap sack. And then you have your beautiful case with your card that has all the information. Now, these guys are a small little shop out of Pittsburgh. They make all their stuff. They use CNC cutting methods to cut out these cases from solid blocks of wood. Now, this is really, really good looking. Uh, this walnut wood species that they've chosen. It's even got the US patent number on the inside. It has this felt material on the inside as well that keeps your phone safe and keeps them from getting scratched and it's nice and cushioned. Now, it doesn't have a military drop protection rating or anything, but of course wood is naturally firm and sturdy so you don't have to worry about it too much if you just barely drop it. It's got good solid cutouts. Overall, it's just a really nice case. And I think the first wooden case I ever used was, I can't remember the brand now, it wasn't carved, it was a different one, but there, I started off, and I got a really nice wooden case about two or three years ago whenever I had the iPhone 7 Plus, and it was a really cool wood case, and it was melded with TPU, and it was, it was really nice, I thought it was great. Well, cover up, that's what it was, cover up. Well, these guys are the only ones out on the market I've seen that use just a solid block of wood. There's no TPU, there's no polycarbon, there's no anything. It's just a single cutout piece of wood and it's uniquely cut so that your phone fits in there precisely and it works like a champ. So there you go. That's all you do to put it in there and your phone's not going to come out either. I'm not squeezing the sides. Now one thing you do need to be aware of though because it does have that felt liner on the inside. If you push on it, I mean it will come out of there. There's nothing locking it into place but it's not and it's not going to just fall out of there. The buttons are really nice, they've got great tactile feedback, so whenever you push on them they've got a nice responsive sensation, a little bit of a click there, I don't know if my microphone phone picked that up or not, uh, they don't all do that, I mean the volume button is not, uh, the Bixby button is. You've got great recess cutout protection there for your three camera setup and your biometric sensor on the back, and it doesn't matter what color Samsung Galaxy you have, they all look good with this natural wood finish. So super cool. For additional security and protection it's got the raised bezel on the top and the bottom. They're reinforced so what that does is if you place your your phone down on a flat surface like this oh, that was my dog bowl. Uh, if you place your phone down like that then it'll keep your screen raised up off the surface so it won't scratch it. And you can see this is a factory screen protector. My autofocus is going crazy right now. So, this is the factory screen protector, and you see it's got some scratches and stuff on it. Fortunately, I bought an armor suit screen protector them to put on the phone this weekend. It's actually my wife's phone, but I have the S10 Plus, and yeah, it's just an amazing case. I, I love what these guys do. have got the Kerf logo over there. Now, a little bit into the details. So, it's got a, a lifetime warranty on it, so if you break it, crack it, all that other good stuff, you can get it replaced. It's made from sustainable natural wood protection, slim profile, premium, ultra suede lining, so it's suede, not felt. Space age tolerances, snug friction fit. It's compatible with wireless charging, which is important, so you can still use Samsung Pay and you can use your Apple Pay if you get one of these for an iPhone. And then you've got so many different wood species that you can choose from. Now, the unfortunate downside is the cost. So this starts off at 89 bucks. They have an installment payment way that you can do it. So it'll even show you the different types of wood. Walnut, cherry, maple, sycamore, mahogany. I've never even heard of half of these. Bullet wood, canary wood, ambrosia maple. That's just crazy sounding. Um, spalted maple, African mahogany, but so more. But you see the price goes up. The more exotic the wood species, the more that it's going to cost. But you can get custom text and custom images burnt or engraved onto your case as well. And all you have to do is you can select the text or you can send them an email on the link with the image and they can 
they can put it on the phone case for you. So it's super cool. Anyway, I love what these guys do with their phone cases. It really adds an extra level of class and flair and just originality to your phone. And not like the S10 or the N10 Plus really need you know, anything extra to help them stand out. But really, it's just a solid case and I I'm a big fan. Uh, I was, almost forgot to talk about this. On the bottom, uh, it is kind of a deep cutout to get to the charging port and also the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. So those holes are kind of deep in there to try and get a connector. Uh, a standard size one should work. You're not plugging in any adapters to this, that's for sure, but a regular charging cable will work. You got a nice open cutout there for the speaker as well. And then there's the microphone on the top and the bottom. So that's pretty much it. This is a Kerf wooden case for the Samsung Galaxy S10. If you've got any questions or comments on it, please let me know. Sound off in the comments section. Make sure you hit the like and the subscribe button. Go ahead and share it with your friends and hit the notification bell if you want to get future notifications for additional videos. And I've got a lot more new content coming. So thanks for, guys, thanks for tuning in, guys. And as always, I'll see you next time.